Hey, my YouTube family and my Money Bouquet family. Today, we I got y'all one. So, today we're doing a $50 graduation bouquet. So, you know, we got to get into it. We're going to use the gold spray paint that I got from Walmart to go in our can. And the can come from the Dollar Tree, of course. Rocks Dollar Tree to stick inside the can to make it heavy. I ordered these from Amazon. Just some little stick pins to put in the sides. So my paper came from Amazon. Link, link below. I'm my Amazon storefront. My stapler for my paper. Double-sided tape. Going to be your best friend. My thank you stickers, of course. Um... This one is my hat that I'm using for my centerpiece, and I got that from Hobby Lobby. My ribbon come from Walmart, and my stickers also come from Hobby Lobby. My ones are already pre-rolled. Now, let's get into it. Don't fight me, y'all. I, I got it. I went back and looked at the video, and I forgot to show y'all the phone block. But this is the one I use for the $50 bouquets. That's the medium size. Dollar Tree. Y'all see the size on it? And it's the size of the... Uh, the can okay now we can get into it a lot of y'all ask like what size sticks i use to roll and how to roll i actually did videos on them before but i am going to link it in my description below under this video if y'all want to check them out with the 50 dollar money bouquets we use four pieces four rows Four pieces of paper. Okay, and I'm gonna show y'all how to fold, of course, the easiest way to fold them under the table. And y'all already know. If y'all have questions, let me know. This end, right in the center. Always remember to follow your lines. And I think I'm too close, so let me fold this one and scoot it up a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. I just know I'm too close. Hold on, y'all. I'm finna change it. One moment. Okay, that's better. We up now. Okay, so, like I was saying, the lines, you always follow your lines. That's your guide. So, this point, go in the center. You see how they line up right there with the line? Put a little above. This one, this line, you just go straight across. So this point, go this way. Straight across. Straight across. Double sided tape. And tape it underneath. Uh-oh. You don't want to come off my hand. Perfect fold. Same way. You just repeat. Uh-oh. Repeat it the same way. From one point to the center. And this line, you cross it straight over. Use your double side to tape. I also have a video on how to fold. It's like a little one on one video. I fold like, I think it's like 10 minutes long. And that video, if y'all want to go see it, and the name of it is How to Fold. No, it's, I'm sorry, the name of it is How to Wrap a Money Bouquet. If you want to learn how to wrap the easiest way. Okay. And that's all four that I'm going to use to wrap my bouquet. Of course, I, I'm an open book when it comes to this. I tell y'all everything, all the tips. So, of course, y'all know, like, with the medium bouquet, you will have to cut around the edges to get it to fit in the can. See? It's, it don't fit like that. 
So, of course, you have to cut around the edges. And not a lot. If you get them from the Dollar Tree, you will really know the difference because... Wait, let me show y'all. Okay, you see that hard piece? You can see this, like, hard piece. That's this. This this all I cut off. It's that little hard piece. You see the difference? That's it. Don't cut too much. And if you have found the perfect size um, foam block for the medium bouquet, please let me know. <laughs> I need to know. Because I haven't found it yet. But until then, this is how I make mine work. Okay, and then just, just make it even. the extras off okay and now it fits in the can this is how I cut it and it fit in the can perfectly fine so just cut the edges not too much and then trim it out to make it even okay right. I'm just gonna spray paint my can with the gold to the east side the same way it looks blurry but I'm trying to show y'all just spray paint the gold and we're going to sit it out here to let it dry and okay so we got our gold can Okay, we are doing fifty dollars, so it's ten. Eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29 30. Okay, so we're gonna do that. 30 plus the five for our centerpiece. And I should have tasted it already, but I didn't. Sorry. Two pieces of tape, one for the top, one for the bottom. Of course. Let me show you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Piece of tape at the top, one piece of tape at the bottom. It's raining outside too, y'all. Did y'all see the eclipse? I didn't. I was at work. I didn't see it. Okay, that's our centerpiece. Find the center. All right. I'm trying to. Okay. Hold on. Let me scoot up, y'all. So with the fifty dollar bouquets, it's always five. I'm sorry, four rows. This is one row. So when we wrap it, that's each row. And it's going to be four total. Okay, so this one. And I also count as I go, so it, just ignore it.
Okay, that's 16. And that's two rows. That's two rows. Alrighty. Why did you turn like that? Don't do that. Okay, there you go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> that's two rows. How many I say there was? I think 16. Five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, sixteen. I was right. Seventeen. We're gonna start here. Seventeen. It's twenty. Twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. I'll show y'all. I, I'll saw y'all. I um, made a video on how to wrap the money around in a circle, and you do go down on each row. So it won't be the same size. You just go down a little bit, not too much on each row. Not too much at all. So it could give it that flower, that flower look. I don't like how these look or something. They just, okay. That's three rows. And um, our last row. And it's 50. If y'all have any questions, of course, y'all can let me know in the comments. And, of course, I will answer them all with a video. I got to keep the videos coming. And I can't do that without y'all, so keep the questions coming. <laughs> and I will answer them all. I promise I will answer them all. So, yeah. Anything else y'all need to know, y'all would like to know. Any other bouquet y'all want me to do. I have an idea of my next one, but I'm just so scared to try it. Because, honestly, I like myself to come out right the first time. And if it's not right the first time, this whew, I can get mad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I get real, real mad. Because it's just like, I know practice makes perfect, but... I like for mine to be right the first time. But no, um, any more questions with the bouquet? Just let me know in the comments. I did do videos on how to fold the paper. I didn't know how to fold the ones, what sizes of everything. I, mean, I really did videos on everything, the whole process. But like I said, if y'all need to know more, I'm here to help and I don't mind helping at all and that's our four rows for our $50 bouquet now we can do the ribbon y'all see four rows okay, I'm gonna show y'all how to measure the ribbon so you'll know on the bouquet. Okay. And we'll just go. Y'all, I'm too close. 
we just go all the way across. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to flip it over for y'all. I also have videos on how to fold a ribbon as well. We're going to go all the way across and connect it at the bottom. Okay, so we go all the way across on both sides. Wait, let me show y'all. And in the front. So that's how you measure the ribbon. Going around the bouquet. And now I'm going to show y'all how to measure it using a Cricut machine. I mean, using a Cricut saying how you measure it if you have a cricket this is what you need of course so how to measure it on the bouquet you're gonna put your ribbon across it in the same measurements that's on your cricket mat it's like a ruler so you just measure it you're gonna measure it on like if you want it all the way across or in the middle you know whatever size you want to do but i want mine kind of in the middle so I'm gonna do zero to 10. Let me show y'all. Okay. I'm gonna do my zero, wait, zero to 10. Okay, and how long it's gonna be, I'm gonna do zero to one. So zero to one down and zero to 10 across. Those are my measurements that I'm going to use on my Cricut machine for the ribbon. And I'm going to show you how to do that, of course. Okay, so I already have some of my logos, like from my bouquets, I already saved in my phone. But I'm still going to show y'all. Okay, so this one is going to be congratulations. So see, I already have congratulations right there. So the same sizes that I showed y'all on the map is the same size that we're going to put on here, which was zero I'm sorry, it was 10 across. 10 across and it was one down. So this the same sizes that I showed. I'm sorry, y'all. My phone um I don't have storage. So I have to keep deleting stuff. So the same size sizes I showed y'all was 10 and 1, and it's the same size I put in down here. So I'm just going to delete all the other ones that I'm not using. So they won't be in my way. Okay, and you highlight it, go to edit, and you flip the image. Now my phone is disagreeing with me today. I I just don't have no storage. Okay, but like I said, this is um what I showed y'all the measurements. Y'all even see that? And we just how is it? Oh, I'm sorry. That's my phone. Okay, make it. And that's the size that's gonna be on the ribbon. And I told y'all the mat, the pink mat is this is the same mat. So it's gonna print out the same way. That's why I say when you measure it, it's the same thing. And I always flip your image. Next, we're gonna connect it to the cricket. Then we're gonna be ready to roll. So I am using like a khaki color vinyl. And I'm gonna just put it on there. And again, I am gonna get to y'all with the cricket videos. I promise I'm gonna make y'all cricket videos. Trust me. For the ones that's been asking about it, I will get to them step by step, of course. Ooh, wait, no. Okay, it's moving a little slow. And now it's just cutting. Um, it's just cutting what I showed y'all on the phone. The congratulations. And I should have put it in fast mode, but I did. Did you? Sorry. 
And when you put it on fast mode, I mean, it's fast mode. This is just going too slow. But, um, like, when y'all ask me for cricket videos, like, what? Like, do y'all need to know how to do the words or, like, just how to work it, period? Or how to, like, make images with it? Like, what? What do y'all need to know exactly about using a cricket so I can know what to do with my video? I'm not gonna make y'all wait. I'm gonna just let it cook. <laughs> okay, it's done. Y'all see it a little bit? Okay, it's the congratulations. Am I out the wrong way? Okay. Just gonna take it off the minute. We can turn this off because we're done. And I'm gonna just cut what I need. We just a congratulations. And when I told y'all to flip it. You flip it so it can come out the right way, if that makes sense. If you don't flip it, when you put it on, it's not going to be this way. It's going to be the opposite way. So that's why you always flip your image before you load it. I mean, before you cut it, I'm sorry. Always flip your image. Okay, and this is my congratulations. Wait, let me move this to y'all see. Congratulations. So now we can put it on the ribbon. Okay, y'all. Uh, put it on the highest temperature, which is three. And when it get green, that's when you can start putting it on the ribbon. I mean, that's when it's warm, I'm sorry. And then you can start ironing it on the ribbon. And of course, I got this from. Uh, don't make me like Walmart, Michaels. Walmart or Michaels, I know for sure. But you will need this to do your ribbon. I never did it with an iron, so I'm not sure if it'll work with a real iron. But I mean, it should. It's, it's like the same thing. Well, it is the same thing, so yeah. If you don't have a mini hand, a mini hand here, you can use iron. Now, with this, I just really eyeball it. The center, I just really eyeball the center. So I think, I think this is the center. Look like the center to me. Yeah. Okay. The handheld is still getting hot. So, while it's getting hot. Oh, no. So while it's getting hot, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm not gonna make y'all wait. Okay, so you see it's green. And now we just press it. Oh, uh, you don't have to press hard. Not too, too hard. And I normally do it about five times. Just to make sure it's on the ribbon, secure on the ribbon. I make my videos sound so boring, huh? I'm sorry. I'm going to start putting some excitement in my voice, y'all. I just, I just be going. I just go. Sorry. Sorry if I sound boring. I get better. But I'm in here by myself, and I feel like I'm talking to myself. So it's like, you know. And I'm going to let that dry. I mean, I'm going to let that uh, get cool because it's a cool pill. So, I'm going to let this sit till it get cool. Then, I'm going to peel it off. 
Okay, so now, um, now we could peel it off. And I always go over it one more time. To kind of get those little wrinkles out and make sure it's flat. And now we made a ribbon. That was easy, huh? I know, right? So this is where my pins come in. I showed y'all how to place it. Okay. You want to put it right in the middle. Oh, wait. Y'all can't see. I'm sorry. Okay. You're going to put it right in the middle. Just like that. I don't know. My ring... Um, my ring light is not agreeing with me today. Okay, but this is how you do it. And you grab... I really want y'all to see. Hold on. I don't know, y'all. The ring light is not in room. But you grab both sides. So when you flip it over, it should look like this. And you just want to pull it tight on both ends. Not too tight, but pull it and stack it directly on top of each other. You want your pins and stick it directly in the middle. And it should look like that. So when you turn it over, this is how it will look. Okay? Just like that. I want to pull it up. So I feel like that's too low. Okay, what y'all think? Okay, now we're gonna wrap it. So when you wrap it, you turn it upside down. And use four pieces of paper. One on each side. I try to, well, you know, just however you want to space it out, you can space it out. But since it's four, I just do like this. One, two, three, four. And it comes out even that way. And it should look like this when you get done with all four. And now we're gonna tape it. Okay, so when you do your, when you wrap it, you make sure you have four points. Oh, hold on. Same way. your points. I feel like I'm talking low. Uh -oh. I'm gonna start using my microphone. I've been having my microphone. I just, I never used it. Tape it here, staple it here. Why it keep getting stuck? Hold on. Okay. Try it again. There we go. I always leave one side open. And then we flip it over.
So now I can pull it how I want to pull it. Let me change the camera. I just broke my stapler. I'm so mad. Like, why would you do that in the middle of a video? I'm mad. <laughs> Okay, so y'all, we got to work with the double side of tape now. Then my staple of broke, but it's okay. So, I say you leave one side open so you can pull it. Make sure there's no spaces in between. Get our double sided tape and put it right here where you closed it. Get the tape and put it right there to close it. Okay, this is what we have so far. Okay, now we can put it in the bucket. Put another piece of paper in the bottom of the can. I'm going to hot glue it first to the bottom of the can. I didn't even let it get hot all the way. But it's okay. It's still going to stick. And just push it all the way to the bottom. All the way around. Okay, this is how it should look. And once you put the glue in. And then we're going to put the rock to make the weight on it. Hold on. Let me get some scissors. You don't have to pull the whole bag of rocks just so it can be heavy. It's just for weight. So it won't be as light. That's perfect. Now, you wrap it. The glue hot now, is me. Now we just put the glue around the end, the trimming, the rim part, I'm sorry. Put the glue around the rim part. I normally go two times around but it's completely up to you. How many times you wanna go around with my other glue stick? Oh my God, I don't know do, oh. But I normally go two times around. To make sure it's secured. I want a little extra this time. Because as y'all can see, I uh, needed some more glue. So. Okay. And now you just get your bouquet and place it directly in the middle. And push all the way down. All the way, all the way, all the way down. All the way down to make sure it's all the way in and make sure it's flat as flat as possible all right 